has it been a powerful week for you all as well? It has been an incredible week. We, uh, because of all the volume, we had like, um, we had hundreds of people applying for like, like hundreds of people applying for sessions with coaches. We had um, people signing up for our lifestyle artist um, heal myself program, and, and we were we were hit by volume, but we weren't expecting the type of volume. So we had to change our whole back end, put a C, new CRM up, and stuff like that. So it's been we've been we've been like literally drinking through a fire hose, and the the four of us have been going uh, no kidding sixteen hours a day. But what's really interesting, Nick, is um, this isn't like the sixteen hour day in the clinic. Um, our bodies aren't getting broken down. We're not feeling bad because we're also taking care of ourselves. But a big, big component is as we're going through the days, we're getting all these stress fights and, and we've been using the oils consistently mm -hmm. and uh, both, you know, using them topically, using them in the diffusers. And also uh, we've been, um, we've been vaping them, which has been my favorite thing. And I, I didn't have um, <clears throat> the, the, the vape device yet. So I'll tell you the funny story. So I go into, the, <clears throat> go into the, the smoke shop to get it. And they didn't really have anything. So the only thing they had was a, a, a pipe. They brought it. I said, just glass and something. It's got to be something. He brings it out and hands it to me. And I go, that's a meth pipe. <laughs> 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 so, so anyways, we were walking around with this little uh, glass thing. It's like a meth pipe. And we've been uh, using the oils and vaping them. And it's been, it's been quite the experience because I've been telling them about your oils for a long time. And, and I keep getting this and you know, it's honestly, cause I've been, I've been working with you for so long that I forgot what, what other oils are like doTERRA and Young Living and stuff like that. I forgot because they're great quality oils, mm -hmm. but, and they are, but they're, but they don't have the same, uh, hoofsa that yours do. They don't, have the, they don't have the same spunk. <laughs> and, you know, this is part of why we uh, chose to work with you at the human garage in the clinic anyways, but mm -hmm. it took, it took having this time away, <clears throat> not having oils, using other oils and bringing them in, and then reapplying your oils into our lives. Because we've had them here back for about six, seven, this is seventh week, I think we've had them, or eighth week. Yeah. And now we're at the point where we can start to measure the difference in, in like how we perform and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So where we were um, <clears throat> two months ago from the same kind of work capacity, we were being drained down and worn out sometimes. Right now, it seems to be that uh, that we all have energy. We all have 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 um, have the ability to move, with the exception of my detox last week, of course, <laughs> which is a whole other topic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for sharing that story. It's amazing. Um, you know, I I receive a lot of um, feedback, and I would say probably about 98, 99 percent of the feedback that I receive is extremely positive. Um, anywhere from uh, positive to extremely positive and hearing stories such as what you just shared with me, Gary is, um, yeah, very heartwarming. And I'm happy to hear that the, the plants are able to be a powerful allies, um, to all of your lives at this time. And, uh, the other, the other part of it too, is, um, you know, now that we've got this series, all of these things are up, uh, well, we're like, I think three up at the, on our YouTube but these, this content is, is fantastic because this is the stuff that we used to do at the play shops. Yeah. But the reality used to come, the play shop would come and we have this amazing experience. And then afterwards, it's like, what did he say to do? What was it? Because, you know, at, at the play shops, we're, we usually end up so high at the end. It's like, <laughs> hey, we can't figure it out. So the, the nice part is to be able to go back and to look at it. And, and the other part too is the, in, the videos, um, they're indexed. <clears throat> so people can go back and look in, at different mm -hmm. at oils that we're talking about and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So this is really, really cool. So, you know, for those of the people that are watching any of this stuff, they can actually go back and, and they can look at the exact oil we talked about, when we talked about it, and, and they can get to use. Because my, my biggest problem I, I expressed in, my, in the first time that we, we talked was um, that I grew up around essential oils. My mom had them. As a matter of fact, we have. Careful. Some of oils upstairs. Yeah, we have some, yeah. some of my mom's oils. She kept them in a little <laughs> silk box. And she, oh. you know, my whole life. But it was like, uh, you know, my kids now, they come up to me and go, you smell like Nana again. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> but, but the thing was, is that I was frustrated because I knew they worked, but I didn't have, I didn't have the time or didn't want to invest the time at that time 
to learn how to put them all together. And that's the other part too, is that the amount of blends that you have and the specificity and the direction of the blends, they make it easy to make decisions. Even if I make a kind of a wrong decision, like it's like using, let's say, uh, purity instead of psychic protection, it still works. Mm. So I just go off of, well, that's what it's doing. Purity more for the room, psychic protection more for the body. But if I use purity in my body, it still works. And, yeah. and so the, the naming them um, and with all the cool names makes it really easy for people to decide how to apply them. Like a lot of things in healthcare, it's so technical and so difficult that when people get to it, they don't remember how to. And, and for me, uh, if I don't remember how to, I feel stupid. And if I feel stupid, I'm like, ah, forget it. <laughs> Screw it. I'll do something else. And this is what's great about it because you can't feel stupid using your oils. Your oils make me feel smart all the time because when people come in, they go, what's this one for? I look at it and I'm like, well, that's actually for ascending. And because even if I don't know, I can at least talk about it. Uh, you're, awesome. Yeah. you're awesome. That's amazing, Gary. Thank you for that. And, um, you know, one of the things I, I heard you reflect there is that that essential oils really offer such a blanket of support. Um, but also there is a high level of specificity um, and, and intention for each of our blends. And so while we're able to really dial in some amazing formulas for clearing the energy field, such as psychic protection, uh, it also uh, aligns with uh, multi-purposes that people can use. And so um, typically people will experience a range of different benefits from aligning themselves with our oils. So I'm, I'm so happy to hear that you continue to receive that feedback with others. And uh, the other part too is we're starting to get feedback in the community. And I know this is a, because of where we are in space and time, it's a bit of a slow roll. But what happens is, is um, people, again, they, they, they hear it, they hear it a second time, a third time. And this isn't a sales pitch, it's education. And, and everybody wants to sell their product. And I find for you from the day I met you, you wanted to educate me on the product. You were never trying to sell me. And that was the, that's the other big reason is because the education is, is really what makes it all work. No, thank you. I brought them to a meditation the other day. All the ceremonial set that you were okay. doing, and I cleared the energy in the room, and people were like, "What is going on? What are these oils?" It's really cool, man. Yeah, oh. it's fun to bring into a group of people and see their reactions. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know when I when I first started um, essential oil wizardry. Uh, my, my main mechanism of sharing the oils uh, was to um, share them at different festivals and larger events. And so I would have an opportunity over the course of a, of a weekend or sometimes a longer uh, period of events um, to share them with the general audience participating at, at that uh, event. And throughout the course of the weekend, I would be able to see not only the immediate benefit, but also um, how the oils impacted someone over a period of time. Right. That, that was what gave me um, such a deeper understanding of the uses of essential oils in general. And it helped to um, really give a, a pathway to uh, find what would be helpful for people in, in their direct day-to-day -day lives. And so I, I took that work out in the field and that, that exper experiment, um, uh, that experimental sharing uh, and applied it to my, my research and my development for our oils. And so, um, yeah, I'm glad that you're being able to play um, share the oils with a group of people while you're meditating and, and you get to experience that interaction itself. Um, cause that is a very powerful interaction. Uh, I, I have interfaced with many thousands of people with oils directly and have seen such amazing, um, you know, some, some things are just, uh, out of the mind of possibility. However, uh, just magic, I think, is the best description I can. Magic. I gotta, I gotta get my briefcase. I'll be the the new age drug dealer <laughs> with all that. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. funny because we're we're not even playing with the with the ones that we play with at the at the human garage workshops because you got that kava and all that. That so we're just playing with the, the base oils for healing and stuff like that.
but we got some, you got uh, the, bot the, what I love is you got the botanicals, but okay, so here's what happened. We went into, uh, we were going into our normal routine. We would go to a couple places um, to pick up stuff because we basically isolated out here. And we walk into the, uh, this uh, really cool dispenser, uh, dispensary where we went in. The guy comes in, he says, he says, oh my gosh, um, what cologne are you guys wearing? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, well, I laughed because first of all, we hadn't put anything on. It was simply because it was still on our, on our clothes, for sure. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, uh, and we said, no, no, it's an essential oil. But, but behind this, you have a whole line of, of, of botanical perfumes Yes, and for men and women, and mm -hmm. a whole bunch of um, let's call them um, party oils, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and and there's a whole bunch of other stuff. And your website is is a plethora of information. Uh, with people going to essential oil wizardry, they could actually literally develop their own working knowledge of oils and blends and stuff like that just by looking at your content. And you've done such a good job at doing content. And we're we're now in the business of providing content, which is new for us. And, and, what, and what we're doing is we're providing like rich content uh, to help people through their understandings. And I go to your website and look at it and I go, oh my gosh, you, you know, you've done such a good job. And that's what I really appreciate because you're educating even on the website. Yeah. Oh, thank you. That means a lot. It, it's been a lot of work and um, definitely a focus and dedication. And um, yeah, I think the education is empowerment for other people. And um, I feel like when someone wants to um, purchase and support our company and support themselves, um, they're the person making that decision. And I, I just feel like my job is to um, guide people in a good and integral way um, to educate and empower them about what the potential of these plants are and um, allow the individual to make that final choice. That's awesome. Yeah, so today we've got uh, super immune, immune, no, we've got super immune boost. We've got immunity oil, can candida and respire. Yeah. Is that also what you have for us? Indeed. Yeah. So um, the intention of today is to, um, uh, to play with some uh, oils and tinctures that will support the immune system and also the respiratory system. Great time to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So going on in the world uh, with the big C word. <laughs> so you guys want to want to dive in? Yeah, yeah let's dive, dive in. in. Yeah. Okay. So um, this first oil is um, inspired by a well popularized um, oil blend called the Thieves Blend. So this is our immunity oil. And immunity oil is a combination of peppermint, oregano, cinnamon, clove, and eucalyptus. And so um, immunity oil is a broad spectrum antibacterial, antiviral. Um, typically what I'll uh, do with this blend is I will either um, put a few drops into my diffuser to, um, to aerate it into my environment. Um, I'll also put a, a, a drop um, into a capsule and I'll fill up the capsule with a carrier oil such as olive oil um, or MCT oil and I'll swallow it. Um, another way that we can work with this um, maybe right now is we can take one or two drops onto the hands. Or more. Or more. I, I used this this morning. <clears throat> it smells so good. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're gonna breathe it in. Okay. Woo. Oh boy. Oh man. There's I haven't I haven't touched this one since it's been here. Oh. It gives that kind of nice burny. Oh, yeah. it does. And if if you were stuffed up at all, hmm. this will Ooh. clear you up. <laughs> is, the hor is it horseradish? Oh, yeah. oh it yeah. is. Yeah. It's yeah. hot. <laughs> what is Ooh. hot? So the, the, the cinnamon and the clove um, and the oregano in this oil um, have, that, um, have that hot quality. Um, what I did, and I'm not suggesting this necessarily for anyone else, um, I would avoid this if you have sensitive skin, I'll, I'll say that. But I, I massaged it into my chest um, after I was done inhaling it. Um, so the oregano, the cinnamon, the clove, which are a lower percentage in this blend, 
Um, they are um, stimulating, warming, and um, can be uh, mildly irritating as well. Look at this. So, mm -hmm. I, I didn't, honestly, I didn't even, I didn't, uh, can you see that slight coloration right here? Hmm. No. Okay. Not very well. There. Okay. So anyways, I, I, um, I hadn't even touched that area. That's my large intestine meridian. That's actually what's been moving. And instantaneously, I noticed it, it actually flushed, flushed, flushed yeah. my system. Yeah. Wow. wow. That is That's super fabulous. cool. And that was just from the, that'll wake I'm, up. I'm inhaling it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. This is a powerful formula. Um, so the, um, blend, the blend that um, I, I oftentimes will work with this in a tincture format. And so um, we have our super immune boost and our super immune boost is the immunity oil infused in organic sugarcane alcohol. So my favorite way of working with this blend is a single drop on the, on the tongue um, in the tincture formulation. And then I will roll the tongue Take a deep inhalation into the lungs. <laughs> my my whole I can hear my large yeah, intestine. I heard, no, I it's, heard it. It's growling. <laughs> you hear it. I heard it. <laughs> right now. My whole meridian on my left side and my I am super shocked. Wow. Well, I can't roll my tongue. <laughs> you can't really hit? Uh-uh. Oh, okay. I never learned. You really can. My oh. mom taught me how to roll my tongue. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, if you can't roll your tongue, oh, that's fabulous. isn't it? Yeah, it's like a, a natural a natural breath freshener that stimulates and supports the immune system. Um, there was a number of oils. Uh, I believe it was eucalyptus, tea tree, and thyme. Don't quote me on this, but I believe those three essential oils were assessed. And um, one of the things that was discovered was that it stimulates white blood cells in the body. So those, um, those three oils um, in eucalyptus, which is found in this blend particularly, um, can support the immune system, not only because of its direct antibacterial antiviral qualities, but also because it actually stimulates the white blood cells um, to help to um, fight in, against infections. I'm, I'm so, all over. So anybody who had any uh, <clears throat> compression or congestion or... Uh, mucus or anything in the respiratory area that would just magically. Whoop. Well, what what's fun is the next few the next few formulas are going to um, be a, a double hitter on that because um, some of those are even more powerful uh, decongestants and help to break up the mucus. And so um, maybe let's hey, let's hey, start. Hey, question. Yeah. Question. yeah, two questions. Um, so. So basically the immune oil and then yes. the super immune, is it basically the same formula one is, is then In fractionated the with carrot? Um, yeah, so the immunity oil is one of our few oils that is an exception where it's just the pure essential oil. There's no carrier. So the immune, immunity oil um, is a pure essential oil blend. The okay. um, super immune boost um, it is the same formulation, just it's in organic sugarcane alcohol. Okay, so, so another question then. Um, so this actually, uh, you could throw, a, I'm assuming you could throw a few drops of this into a bottle of water and spray bottle for cleaning. Yep, that would be one way. Um, I, I've noticed that it can be a little bit sticky. Um, so you may add a little bit of alcohol. Um, it definitely does a great job of, of um, cleaning the surfaces in terms of killing bacteria, fungus, um, mold, different things of that nature. Um, and it's a little bit sticky. And I think an alcohol and or a soap added to that um, would, would make it a really <coughs> nice home cleaner. Because we've actually been looking for one because what happens is we tend to buy the home cleaners that are out there in the market. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, what I've noticed over the years is that they get a market in a really organic setting and they get a following and then they start compromising as they grow and as they grow. And so, so what I found is the ones I started off with, which were good at the beginning, I'm using them religiously two years later, three years later. And then somebody comes up and says, no, they got all this harmful stuff in them now. 
And I'm like, so I, so basically what we've been looking for here is to convert everything over into the most pure, most organic. So, mm -hmm. so basically we would put like, let's say in a normal spray bottle, probably five to 10 drops. Um, what size spray bottle? Say eight ounces, just do eight ounces yeah. for us. Yeah. Cool. Eight um, ounces. Yeah. I feel like, um, maybe, maybe experiment with one to 2% to start off with. Okay. And then the other part too is, so we would put some, a few drops of this in, um, and, and it would be nice to have a little bit of organic soap mm -hmm. and, and then a little bit of, and what kind of alcohol, just a normal ethyl, uh, alcohol or. Yeah. So, um, one thing I've done is I've used a product like, um, uh, Dr. Bronner's and I've, I've just added in, <clears throat> So let's say an eight ounce, I might add in, this will be different than the one to 2%. Um, and it can totally be less. I, I think as little as a quarter or half a percent would probably suffice. Um, but what I've done is I I'll experiment with maybe about 25 to 50 drops um, in, in an eight ounce um, container and I'll just shake it up really well. And it seems to work um, pretty wonderfully. Um, you have, you have hands that smell great. Um, you know, you have all the properties of the essential oils and I, I never have the same dish soap. Perfect. Perfect. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Because, because basically what we, we had committed to doing was, I, I'll give you an example. Um, um, when we clean like a shower, uh, one of the things is we clean a shower and just like the essential oils absorb in the bottom, this is what happened to me is that I was, I would, I would be in a situation where I'm, I'm, I'm walking around barefoot all the time. And if the product, if the floor wasn't clean properly, I'm actually absorbing that in. So yeah. we've been we've been making the shift and we've been looking for things within our own network to do that. So we'll actually put these formulas out and our own, that's part, part of what we're doing is we're going to take all this stuff and say, this is how we use it. Yeah. And then we're going to put that out to our, to our, all of our base and followers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Because again, it's, this is a, the one thing is to have it and know it, but it's to use it every day is what makes a difference. And also, even a lot of the public gyms use bleach to clean the showers, and you you step barefoot into that. That goes right into the body. So, just a little little nugget there. Yeah, <laughs> Be careful. Yeah, that was that was I, that was my journey before. Is that I was as I was cleaning up my life, I was getting still getting kind of a, a down energy and almost sick on Thursdays, and that's because Wednesdays it would clean my apartment, and uh, and I would be walking in the floor with, and it was supposedly the organic stuff too. You know, it was, um, I, I think it was Myers or something like that. And it, and it just, again, it was just uh, one of those things that changed over the years. Mm. I have noticed that I won't name specific brands, but, um, I I've noticed that pattern as well. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I'll name them. <laughs> you just went through my ear, I'll yell them out. We're, we're, I mean, we're, we're, we're in a position where, um, we no longer, well, with the exception of a few patented products we have, we no longer are committed to anything. We're only committed to what works. So, um, so that's why we use your product because we, 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 we have the luxury now of not, not actually committing to anything, but to using what works. And if it doesn't work, you know, next year or next, then we'll move away. And we want our people, people to understand that, that we drive uh, through our knowledge, we drive the cycle because these corporations as they scale, they're, they start immediately putting in cheaper quality products to scale. And I get it. I understand what they're doing, but it doesn't have to be done that way. And that's because their motives are profit over, over humanity. And, and this is where the shift is coming. So, so we will. If you ever want this whisper in my ear, we'll yell it at the top. <laughs> well, thanks for speaking to all that, Gary. Um, you know, since, um, since you guys were, uh, specifically talking about body care, um, and cleaner, let's, let's tune into can candida next. Yeah, so in the hand. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, I've been wondering that one. Why the name can candida? Um, can candida was intended to be, um, a, a powerful antifungal formulation. Okay, great. And so, um, can candida is a combination of CO2 extracted cassia, cinnamon leaf, sweet marjoram, rose geranium, oregano, peppermint, and tea tree. And what's amazing about this is it actually smells quite lovely and pleasant. It's not too overpowering. It smells medicinal. 
Now I've actually used this, um, the pure essential oil blend of this to, um, to clean out um, mold from my old van. Um, it works really well at uh, deep cleaning um, around the house or around the office. And so um, I have experimented with this formulation with great results. Um, you know, another example of using this would be um, when your uh, clothes, when you leave your clothes in the laundry and they, they get all um, kind of moldy-esque, um, the Can Candida formulation can be really powerful added into the dishwasher to <laughs> wait, 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 because our dishwasher started to smell and we're thinking we have to back it up or like that. And he goes, Oh, dishwasher. He literally said that you said it two seconds later. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said dishwasher and, and not the washer <laughs> washer. And so um so yeah, can candida is is a great multi-purpose antifungal um immune support blend. Um, ways that I oftentimes will work with the can candida specifically, um, people can use it in their diffuser. Um, one of my favorite uses of it is to um, add a drop into a teaspoon of coconut oil and uh, add that in regards to your coconut oil pulling routine. It's oh, really we get a video that we did about that. It was like um, 10 million people watched it. And oh my God. I had that in there. I'll do another one for it. <laughs> so a quick question about the, the, the dishwasher example. So uh -huh. would you just put it into the cycle. Um, so what, what I was in to, to say, uh, the, the washer, not the dishwasher <laughs> or the washer. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, so that is what I was intending to say was the washer. And I, I, I think I got washed into the, uh, the dishwasher on your guys' side. <laughs> um, you, 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 can, you can add a small amount of the oils into your dish soap as well that you're applying into the dishwasher. And I would say maybe five to 10 drops is what I would experiment with. So, so this is again from a clinical side because we, I mean, we deal with this quite often, and it seems people that have mold in their house, and and they can't leave their property. <clears throat> we get this is a really common issue, and mm -hmm. it causes all kinds of uh, weird autoimmune type symptoms that actually resemble Lyme. So I've had people that were diagnosed with Lyme because of the mold in their house, and because because again, a Lyme is the hardest thing to, to diagnose. And, and with the only to find out, you know, a year or two later, it was really mold. So when mm -hmm. somebody's in an apartment, because this, we get this question literally multiple times every week mm -hmm. uh, or sometimes every day. So when someone's in an apartment and they're not able to leave and, or an area and they're, they're still living there, um, wiping it down, but diffusing it will have a big impact on their health. And I'm, and, and I'm, I'm hearing you saying this, but what I'm, what's my point of view is, is that we we do all these things with people like you know supplements and routines and they go for they go to acupuncture they go to uh, all these things they do glutathione they all these things to try and feel better and what's happening is quite often it's just their environment infecting them every night they go home they go to sleep and they spend two thirds of the time there. Yeah, I think you've spoken to that really well, Gary. Um, you know, my personal experience with this blend about a. Um, about a decade ago, I had a bout with candida um, that was um, really bolstered by, um, I, I experimented with frozen yogurt every day for like a week and a half. And um, at the end of, at the end of that week and a half, I had this, um, this white pasty um, material form in my mouth that um, was a candida overgrowth. And so I started experimenting um, with the oils and um, this blend is something that was further refined into what it is today um, as a result of that experience. And so um, what I did was I was um, swishing with coconut oil, which also has some antifungal properties. And um, I did it once in the morning, once in the evening. And um, this really helped get my body back into an appropriate balance, of course, um, by also not including the frozen yogurt as part of a, a regular diet. And um, 
And so I'm so grateful for all, all of life's lessons that have brought these powerful oils into our lives. So this one here for uh, in the bath as well, a couple of drops in the bath. If I'm dealing with a fungal issue, like, yep. I, have, like I, have, I have a fungal issue on my body because fungal issues on the body come up for a lot of people and, mm -hmm. and they don't even realize it. Um, it even things like uh, it looks like worms sometimes or ringworm or something like this. So that mm -hmm. this would be, would we be able to put it in the bath as well? That's a great question. So um, this oil will be sensitizing to some individuals. And what, I, what I'm intending to um, mean by that is that um, uh, oils such as oregano, which is in a very small proportion in this oil, um, can be irritating for some people. Perfect. So I wouldn't suggest it in a bath for most people. Um, people can experiment. Um, I would, I would definitely suggest diluting it, um, even further if they're going to put, put it into a bath, um, and maybe oh, try the lower extremities. Um, great question. Maybe put in like a drop in a teaspoon yeah. and then pour in half the teaspoon, something like that. Um, and, and like a, you know, with, drop with, in oil? Like um, a exactly. Yeah. You would fill it up with a carrier oil. Yeah. Um, and, um, and then you would pour in half the teaspoon, um, and, and it, get about because, um, so, so dealing with women's feminine issues, which I, I've, I've been dealing with clinically for a long time. Um, and this is there, there is no solution for this. So I would, I would tell them, I mean, it's not going to hurt them. I mean, the worst you're going to get is like, you're going to get a little, you're going to get a little stingy and itchy for a bit. So I like that. So one drop, um, so if you're having any kind of fungal issues and try it with a disclaimer, it could do this. I mean, I mean, even she puts cinnamon on every time and it's I like pure cinnamon on me and uh, Ow. red and I love it. Yeah, he always comes upstairs <laughs> like, like a tomato. It's hilarious. So, uh, so the, so so the idea is one drop in a, t in a tablespoon of coconut oil, um, mix it up and then, and then put half of that in the bath to start. That would be a good one because it's what people are surprised at is that there's a lot of issues like um, there's a lot of bacteria and fungus on the skin that's trying to make its way into our epithelial tissue. It's trying to crawl in. And, um, and, and that seems to be a, a, a really big issue with young women today because of all the chemicals that they're using on their bodies. Their bodies are developing um, a, a fungal attack uh, based on the environment. Mm. Mm. Oh, would we use this at all? Yeah. Uh, uh, so um, in regards to topical, topical use for can candida, um, for localized fungal infections, I have experimented and it does work well. I would say the same disclaimer. Um, some people may want to dilute it. <clears throat> um, some people will apply it as is. It already is um, diluted in a carrier oil, fractionated coconut oil, to be specific. And um, it can be applied um, topically as needed um, for uh, fungal purposes. Perfect. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And okay. Fabulous. So yeah. are we going to put it on? Yeah, are we putting it on? You, no. Um, well, I think or we can. I love putting. Hey, it. you guys want to do a little experiment and put it put a little yeah. bit on the bottom of your feet? Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm into it. I'll just put a little bit of so uh, saliva. What I, like, in. what I like about this one also is tea tree oil. Of all of the oils, is my least favorite fragrance, and oh. um, I love that this smells so beautiful. Mm. And, it has tea tree oil and it's not overpowering because I want to use tea tree oil, but it doesn't always. Um, is it always my I put it on I, I put it on my body. <laughs> I love the smell of it. But I love the yeah. smell of this one. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. I'm happy. I, on my feet. All day long. Yeah. You put it on your feet? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, you know what it did to my feet? And it made my feet uh feel super, super cool and super light, the best way to say it, on the bottom of my feet. Cool. Yeah, it just smells fabulous. I was yeah. comforting. Hey, yep. I just cologne the other day. <clears throat> oh, that's why you smell so good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it does. It's just very comforting. It has a yeah. very comforting smell. Mm -hmm. I also get that this would also be um, supportive for the immune system by massaging it into the bottom of the feet, though it's uh, a new mechanism. I, I've never experimented with um, this method with can candida. Again, my most common use with it would be 
um, direct topical application for a, a localized um, fungal fungal infection, okay. and or switching and or sw swishing around in the mouth um, using coconut oil as a um, as a part of um, oil pulling. So it'd be great okay. for uh, canker sores um, yeah, in the mouth with the oil pulling. And like a little like a little wart. A warts, uh, yeah. thrush as well, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, thrush, yes. Um, for warts, I've, I've seen some success, um, both personally and amongst friends using cedar oil, um, cedar atlas. Um, I've, I've seen some good results. Oh, I feel it. As soon as I put on my feet, I feel it in my small intestine, my lower stomach started acting. It made, it made my feet tingly. Yeah. You guys feel <laughs> really here? Small intestines? I feel it right, right here. Yeah, I feel, I feel uh, Yeah. Cause that's where, I mean, that's technically where our immune system uh, is, is fueled by is a small intestine. So, so I feel mm -hmm. it right in the small intestine. So that means I also feel it in my, cause I'm really sensitive to the meridians. I feel it in my small intestine meridian now too. That's awesome. Oh. Mm. Oh. We get one more. Yeah, we got, um, we actually have two more allies to play with. And um, you were mentioning how, um, the, the first oils we started playing with, the immunity oil and the super immune boost felt like it was really um, helpful for the respiratory system. So now we're gonna target that a little bit deeper. Um, let's play with Respire next. Oh yeah, Respire. I love this one. I love, I love to vape it. Oh, this one's just- Respire is very pleasant vaped. Here, here, Somebody's just put it, really loving this, this one. Just put, it, just put it into <laughs> perspective, we're like, um, it's already, it's, it's 75% gone already. <laughs> this was, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, um, well, what I was going to say is this, this was definitely our most popular oil in 2020. And um, what we were, what we were um, keeping in our diffuser pretty regularly at the time. So um, just use a few drops applied into the hand. Respire is a respiratory blend, as the name suggests, and it's a combination of eight different oils. Oh, eight. I love it when you have lots in one bottle. That's so um, that's a big, yeah, that's that's a big deal, too, because it's all the oils, all the blends, all the oils. It would cost a fortune and be hard to do. Can you share what, the, what some of those eight are? Yeah, um, so um, Respire is uh, Eucalyptus polybracteae, um, Ravensar aromatica, um, Thyme linalol, Black Spruce, Laleshwa, which is African wild sage, CO2 extracted frankincense carturi, and um, there's one more, um, Niaoli, um, yeah, and Peppermint. Okay, so what was the second one? I uh, Ravensar aromatica. It's an aromatic tree from Madagascar. Um, it's helpful for stimulating the immune system, opening up the lungs. It's, um, it's very cooling and refreshing. Uh, it's also quite oftentimes suggested um, for its antiviral qualities. So it is cooler than the immunity oil. The it is, oil isn't it? It's really hot and this one's quite cool. So I, yeah. I find the difference between that and the, um, uh, what we just used, the can candida. Can candida, when I put it, because I put them both on my feet and stuff like that. Um, the can candida basically cooled me from the inside. And this, uh, the um, uh, Respire cools me from the outside. That's the best way I can say it. Hmm. And where would you put this one? Yeah, so what, what I enjoy um, is putting it into a diffuser or three deep inhalations um, in through the nose and through the mouth. And then uh, I, I take the oil and I massage it into my chest after I'm done breathing. Um, people with sensitive skin may, may choose to avoid the chest massage, but I, I find that it helps to um, break up mucus and phlegm. Yeah. Kind of start dissolving. Um, and um, the next uh, tincture that we're going to be sharing really helps uh, on a further deeper level of breaking up the mucus and phlegm. So uh, what is actually I really like that because um, one of the things that happens for me is that when I get a lot of pressure up here, uh, if a rib goes out, I used to have a lot of phlegm and mucus. 
I'm, 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 um, uh, my body type, <clears throat> I get a lot of phlegm naturally. If my body's not completely balanced, you'll notice it. And um, one thing that I didn't know that I wasn't even thinking of because I wasn't thinking of it as phlegm is, is to rub it on the traps because this is actually when there's tension up in here, um, it actually causes more mucus in the throat. Cool. I want to experiment with that. <laughs> yeah, and actually um, cooling sensation. And so immediately it calmed my traps and let them uh, trap area. So the calm and what that does is through there is also the, the gallbladder meridian. So the gallbladder meridian comes down through here. So I felt it immediately calming down the rib cage. So I put it on right on the meridians on here, on here, and I put it right on here. So the meridians, gallbladder meridians right on the side of the rib cage. Because what happens is if that meridian is tight, then the rib cage has the troubles expanding. And that's why, that's why we tell people to do our, our organ reset, which is, which is like, it takes seven to 10 minutes. Right. But yeah. I rubbed it there. what did you feel Nick when you rubbed it on there? I feel more space in my shoulders. Bingo. Yeah. That's it. That's it. And I've never thought of that because it's specific. If you put it everywhere, you don't notice. Mm. And, and since our bodies are tight or imbalanced, and they're not tight everywhere, they're tight in different spots. It's super powerful to put it here in the front, a little bit on the neck, and a little bit on the rib cage here, because those are the areas that constrict the chest from breathing. Mm. I, I like that. Thanks for that. I'll, I'll, I'll leave you guys with a fun little, um, fun little tip. Um, since we were talking about, uh, different places to put the oils, I found, um, you could dilute some peppermint oil and you can place it on the back of the neck. And you can do that, um, when you're traveling, um, in a tropical region or a place that's very hot and it drops the core body temperature by a few degrees. Right, right. As a matter of fact, um, uh, Nick, if you want to try something, you want to try something? Yeah. Um, do we have time? Yeah. Yeah. So what we're going to do is um, we have a, it's called a fascial coffee. Cool. Let's okay. do it. So where, wherever it's open, if you, if you do it with your, uh, if you do it with the, with the shirt off, it's, it's going to be a lot better. Let's go with the shirt off. You can I, I will keep my shirt. Well, I can take my shirt off, but <laughs> all different. So, 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 you want, you want to, you want to do it with us? Yeah. Okay, let's let's do it. Come on, let's do it. I'll do it. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> let's see where can I get over here? Uh, right, right, right there. Right over here. Yeah, right over right here. Right okay. Right here. Okay. So I'm gonna take my shirt off. Too. Okay. Awesome. Wow. I'll get Jay to do it. I can't see my legs. I can't see my legs. Okay. We'll we'll push back there. So, uh, we're to, to push it back. so what a fascial coffee is, it's using the flow of the meridians. And, and what we're going to do is the meridians, the fascia and the meridians flow in a certain direction. So here's what we're going to do. Okay. okay. So I take the right hand. We're going to go down the left side, inside of the arm and then up the outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. Okay, great. Now from the, from the baby finger down. Okay, on the other side. And you can do this without oil too, but what I do is I add the peppermint or the respire and you go, you go down on the inside and up on the outside. And then go down, two, three. This is awesome, okay. Now what we're gonna do is on the stomach, you're gonna go counterclockwise. You're gonna go from the right hip to the left hip, up and around. And this is opposite of digestion. And the reason why this is super powerful, that you should get over here because all the women wanna see you there. <laughs> this is opposite of digestion, right? And that's super powerful because digestion is going that way all the time. And then what we're gonna do is rub up the chest. So from down up to the shoulder, and then the other one. Okay, then on the legs, I'm gonna get as much leg as I can here. So you're gonna go down the front and up the inside, down the front, up the inside, down the front and up on the inside. Awesome. Woo. Woo. Now you go to the outside of the legs, right, right down to the feet and go from the baby toe up the side, up the IT bands, all the way up the back. 
all the way up the back, all the way up the back. And then from the Achilles heel, all the way up the back, again, three Ooh. times. And now since we've got, you wanna be careful because it's in the eyes and that, since we've done all this. So now we're gonna go the back of the head. We're gonna go over three times. And then we're gonna go from underneath the cheeks. You gotta be careful, there's not too much oil, but I've already got it off now backwards. And then we're gonna go down the jawline three times. And then we're gonna go up the neck. And then dust off our shoulders three times. Oh yeah. Uh, the and then the, the back of the neck. Yeah. We're gonna go up, two, three. Oof. And then, uh, and if you, even if you do this without, without any oil, yeah, now we're gonna party. <laughs> 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 walk around. Woo! Yeah, walk everybody's around. awake. Everybody's awake for this one. <laughs> Woo! So, uh, so even if even if it's done, uh, even if it's done with opium oil, it's super powerful. It's called a fascial coffee. Basically, it wakes up all the fascia in the body. And the reason why it works is if you go down this way and back this way. If you go the opposite, it'll tighten and it'll make you feel constricted. So this opens up the body. It's on our YouTube. Uh, it's called a fascia coffee. We're going to do an, a, a better one because it was me back last year when I was a, <laughs> I was a big balloon and I was doing it in, in my in my skibby. Yeah, it's worth a watch. So how, how do you feel there, Nick? Um, I'm feeling great. Yeah, I, <laughs> I didn't I, I didn't add any of the oils um, in. What I'm feeling is a little bit more um, body movement from the inside. Right. So yeah. what that does is it it these are the way this is the way the fascia flows. That's the flow of the fascia. And yeah. if we and as we move through life and we sit and we do stuff, the fascia gets restricted and then we have to move against it means we're using energy. So you could do that two or three times a day, that pattern. Again, it's on our it's on our uh, it's on our YouTube. It's called the fascial coffee. And it's a mm -hmm. wake up. And literally it takes it takes minutes, it takes like three minutes to do. And it, it's, it is way more effective than a coffee for waking up because what we're doing is we're waking up the fascia energy, which is kidney energy, where the coffee is your adrenal energy. And so even though you get a spike of energy when you drink coffee, the adrenals are the, the hormones draw 80% of our energy. That's, what the, that's when we digest food. We're actually the hormones, we're firing hormones. That's 80% of our utilization of energy. So when we do the fascia coffee two, three times a day, our hormonal energy drops. And if you do that over 28 days, it's amazing. It resets the stress habit cycle in the body. Just that one thing. Wow. It sounds really important. I would have loved to combine that with um, that practice with circulatory flow or renew. Oh, I never thought. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Love yeah. I, I'm always in, I'm always into the, I'm always into yeah. the give me more drive. So I didn't even think of that. I was like, <laughs> I'll take fire it up, but if you take it down with circulatory flow, you'll get a you'll get a, a compensatory reaction. It'll probably even give you more. Actually, let's... and renew has a beautiful feel to it. So you did yeah. it with you did it without the oils, and you still feel the uplifted. Like move your neck around, move your shoulders around. Yeah, I I I feel generally less tension in my body, and I don't think it feels completely even, but it feels like there's more. Um, circulation and flow happening in certain uh, parts of my body. Um, I, I definitely feel more woken up. Yes, as more woke. <laughs> and so, so the reason why you would feel not even in your body is because our body is habituated in uneven patterns. And what you're doing is you're evening it out. <clears throat> so if you did that, if you did that little routine um, three times a day for three days, you would wake up in the fourth day, it would first feel really good and lots of energy, but you wake up in the fourth day with way more energy and, and you'd go through the day easier. I love that challenge. Thanks, Gary. <laughs> I'll explore that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're gonna try, we'll try circulatory flow in review one time and we'll let you know. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a video, we'll do a video of that. And um, cause that's part of it is we, <clears throat> these things are super powerful. And we're trying to show people that, you know, one of the go-tos to wake up is to stimulate the body, right? <clears throat> but stimulation is a shaking of the body. It's a shaking of energy, which is the loss of energy. 
We're true. There you go. He's getting it now. And and actual the the true energy. The body's in the fascia and the, and, and connected to the kidney, not connected to the adrenals. <laughs> Did we have one more, or was that was? Uh... No, we used them all. Yeah, I I got one more for you guys. He has one more, but we don't have it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you, you guys don't have Spark, huh? No, no. no we don't have Spark. Tell oh, us, tell, tell us, tell us, about and it. you do it, and then we'll, we'll have to get it. We'll watch. Yeah. Okay. Tell us spark. Well, um, so Spark is a combination of peppermint, Tulsi, and Ravensar Aromatica. We have it both in the tincture formulation and in the oil. And so what I'm going to demonstrate and how I love to work with Spark is um, one drop on the tongue, deep inhalation into the lungs. Oh, I can feel that on you right now. Yeah, right away. It feel, feels it right through here. This just opens up the lungs in such a beautiful way. And um, it's broad spectrum antibacterial, has antiviral qualities. It's also um, very soothing, cooling and drying. And I find that this one helps to break up mucus as well. Um, Spark can be used in a diffuser. And um, Gary, it's also one of my favorite oil blends to vaporize in a vaporizer. Oh my goodness. Um, now do you, um, that's already carried, it has a fraction, it has a, a coconut oil in it, right? So the, um, the spark oil is a pure essential oil blend. Uh, there's no carrier oil inside of it. Oh, so it's okay. very sweet. So what you're saying is we can smoke it. Yes. Okay. Now you're talking, <laughs> put that one on, put that one in the career. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 ready for vaporization, I guess. I, I have a really simple way of looking at the world is can I eat it, can I smoke it, or can I throw it away? <laughs> <laughs> You're so fun, Gary. <laughs> well, you know, it's a Sagittarius, it's just the extremities. I like to try everything. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> I've learned uh, over the last uh, 10 years being in clinical practice, especially when you're working with fascia, is that you really, if if you're conscious, you can't hurt your body. So I try stuff that people would be scared to try because, because I know that I can also uh, repair something if I, if I injure myself. You know, part of this journey about moving into it, using essential oils, because we, essential oils, yeah, I mean, we're talking about a lot of uses, which are, which are basically, I'm using them because I have a condition. That's what the world wants to hear because the world has a condition. But the, but the truth is that's still kind of like the unbroken fix me mentality where, mm -hmm. You know, over the last, um, <clears throat> uh, even coming out of clinic, I came from the broken mentality to now today, we are living with this and we're, what we're doing is using these things to accelerate us. And, and so that is, so that it's all about acceleration. It's very seldom that we're going, you know, what's broken, what can I fix? And that's, that's the difference. And it's given us a sense of freedom because knowing that I don't have to go to a practitioner for almost anything in my body is is giving me given all of us a sense of freedom mm -hmm. and for me <clears throat> i mean <clears throat> when i was jay's age i i would do it you know i would go out and do anything right <clears throat> sorry but as i got older i started to become scared of hurting my body because if i hurt my body then i'm out for a week or two weeks or whatever and nowadays it's like oh well we'll figure it out and twist and turn and do a maneuver add an oil and we're, we're back to good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love this. It's super amazing. And I'm just always, I'm, I have so much gratitude for you doing this and, yeah. and sharing it with us <clears throat> and um, just uh, sharing your art because it's, mm. uh, it's fabulous and it's so yeah. helpful to the world. So deep gratitude. Yeah, any questions? Most of the questions are being answered. Is there any yeah. questions from the feed that, that needs particular answering? I'm not sure there. Um, can you see any? Oh, uh, Ellen would have to okay. let us know because yeah. she's been reading. I've, I've seen her answering. Yeah, all she's of doing an there. awesome job. Yeah, Ellen, <laughs> fabulous. Do yeah. all of our. We love you, Ellen. You and guys, please finished. make sure to yeah. follow Essential Oil Wizardry. Um, yes. You'll see them in the comments yes. there. Just give them a follow. Show them some love. Yes. Um, Dr. Nick. And actually, us. send it to your friends. Yeah. I mean, we are we're in a position where we are now starting to to come back to the world. The world's in in real need of help right now, and it's 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 not about just a product because products aren't going to cut it anymore. It's commercialized products. It's about the intention behind them. And essential oil wizardry 
-hmm. they, uh, Nick and I have been working together uh, for over seven years. And what, what, I, what, can, what I can tell you, and, and, and to be honest with you, um, your retail prices are kind of like uh, the, other, the other brands' wholesale prices. And um, that's what I like is because it's not about, it's not all, it's not about profits, it's about helping people. And, and, and just like in the situation we're at, um, these oils have made such an impact on my life. People would be crazy not to have. Them. And that's, that's exactly what I say. Mm. Thank you so much, Gary. It's, it's been such a pleasure to be able to work with you um, throughout uh, various phases of your, of your gift to the collective and, um, now to be um, working with Cynthia and Jason and Manbender and yeah, just everyone. Um, yeah, we're always we're always sharing our, our latest expression of of truth and our gifts with with the world. And um, yeah, I'm excited that we have come together for this six week uh, course um, to experiment with this digital media medium together to educate and empower the listeners. You know, what, I, what, I, what I love is they can yes. actually order the oils and they can go through the workshop themselves. Yeah. That's real power. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you know what, it was, like I said earlier, the, it was so powerful when you do the workshops and, and, and uh, 10 minutes after you left, I forgot 99% of it. <laughs> yeah. And, and I, I think the, um, yeah, the repetition and the, um, the embodied experience and seeing your body before and after, and then uh, the repetition of working with the oils. Um, what it taught me was a higher level baseline of health. I started to know an even higher perspective of what vitality looks like and feels like. And there was a point where I recognized that um, I can tap into that higher level of vitality and wisdom and knowing with and or without the oils. And so um, the oils for me have been a powerful uh, platform of growth um, for my own inner development. And as I continue to grow as an individual, I started being able to tap into that higher level of vitality um, uh, by using the oils and or not, um, through meditation or just other, other methodology of listening to my body and being present in the moment. And, um, so I'm really happy that we've, uh, captured this expression of, um, plant magic together in this digital medium where people can really embody and play with these different um, explorations, um, utilizing the oils and finding their own capacities of higher, higher vitality for themselves. And um, yeah, I really hope that people who've taken the time to dive in have, um, have learned a few things and have um, embodied an even deeper level of health. You know, the interesting yes. thing is most of the time yes. people, uh, they watch a video on YouTube, whatever you look at the counts, because we're just putting them up there and we haven't even started driving traffic yet. It's just been this week. But <laughs> what the difference is, is people are watching the whole thing. That means that the content is there, the education is there. So, um, and we, uh, you know, Nick, uh, your, your ability to provide this knowledge and education, helping people help themselves, is more important than just selling the oil and it's more important than being a practitioner because as a practitioner we can only be there a very small percentage of people's time and when we're not there people people they don't know what to do and this is this is why it's so powerful that's why i kept saying that having this is evergreen content that's always on our youtube people that are watching this can can um uh live right now and go to our youtube and and subscribe but there will be more and Nick, I, I, I would like to uh, explore some time over the next year, maybe um, like uh, once, uh, once a month, uh, take a small set of oils and a topic. And we would like to base it upon our philosophy, which is we do everything through, uh, we, we code it through our astrology and take some oils out and put them based on the astrology in the month and the needs. And then we can get them ready so that people can actually start ordering them in advance. We'd be happy to, to give you our input. Uh, about what, what they're looking for in each astrological cycle 
and you put it up and we'll just send our people there because you just do such a good job of not only making them, but you do such a good job of explaining and taking care of and answering people. Um, it's just amazing what you guys are doing there. We really appreciate everything. We said it a thousand times um, and, um, and I just, I can't wait to see what's next. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Gary. For sure. Thank you, Nick. Yeah. No. You educating and empowering us all. Yes. No. Right to you. Mm -hmm. It's my deep pleasure. Thank you. Such an honor. Okay. Yes, I guess that ends it. And uh, for this part of the workshop, yeah. I think um, uh, we'll have so many uh, people asking. We'll put together some specific ones um, that we can work on later on. And we can do some segments. But this has been a really good basic introduction. And again, if you're watching this, go to uh, Central Oil Wizardry, like their stuff, share it, um, go to their website and start educating yourself because that's where that's really what it's about. It's about taking care of yourself and you can't do the education or you can't take care of yourself if you're not educated because then you're not taking care of yourself. Well said. Thank you, Dr. Nick. Thanks, Nick. No, thank you, friends. Thanks, Alan. Take care, everyone. Thank you, Alan. Bye, fam.